Hello and thank you for tuning in again to one of my sweet and simple stamp videos. Rosewart Stampers Delight.com. And for today, what I decided to use was music from the heart. I love anything to do with music, probably because my husband is a musician. So this was the cute little quick card I did, a just a note card. And if you're like me, you love the way black and red looks together. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. This is just a little thank you note card. Very easy to do. So let's get started. Okay, again, if you need to contact me, just go to stampersdelight.com. If you need a catalog, just let me know. I can get you out one. If you'd like to place an order, you just go to stampersdelight.com. And again, if you'd like to join my team and get this awesome starter kit, we'd love to have you. For $99, you get $125 of merchandise, your choice, plus a mini trimmer. Only with the starter kit, you can't buy that. Designer series paper, 6x6, six six, a sampler pack, plus another stamp set of your choice. Just go to stampersdelight.com and click on Join the Fun. Okay, so let's get started with the stamping. Okay, so with this set, this stamp set is what we call photopolymer. So you need to bring in, I'm going to bring in my stamps, and you need a cushion. Okay, this is our paper piercing mat, and you can see I got some ink on there. Now I just got it on my hands. I usually put a piece of um, blotter paper of some kind or computer paper around this to keep this nice, which I didn't do. But you know what? I could do it right now, and I could show you what I mean. I just wrap a piece of paper around it like this. This way, and I tape it down. This way, it doesn't um, the ink doesn't get on my pad like it just did there. Okay, well, I'm going to use the other side so I don't mess anything up. Okay, so for this card, what I'm going to change up a little bit, and I'll put the card right there and I'll show it to you again, is I have a piece of our Whisper White. Now, this is our thick card stock. When I use white for the card base, I use the thick white. Then I'm going to bring in a piece of our black card stock, and that's four by five and a quarter. And then this smaller white, which is actually three and three quarters by five. Okay, so I want that black edge there, quite a bit of edge. But now this one is just flat, plain. But what I'm going to do with the black this time is I'm going to bring in our new Coastal Weave 3D embossing folder. Love, love, love this embossing folder. I'm going to go ahead and put my black cardstock in there. I'm going to bring in my Big Shot, and yes, my table is going to move a little bit. I apologize, but I did want to change up the card a little bit. I'm going to bring this out. Now, I have the old platform, so it has tabs on it, and I want tab number one. If you have the newer one, there's no tabs. And then I'm just going to lay my plate on there and run it through. The newer embossing folders do need the newer plate. These are a little bit thinner than our old ones. Delay. Okay, so then I'm just going to bring this in. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have other YouTube videos out there. Some are uh, from Facebook Live with more intricate stamping, so please check them out. Okay, so now you can see this has some dimension on it. I'm going to go ahead and fold my Whisper White in half. Get my phone folder. And that's my base. Okay, now for the white, small white piece that's going to layer right on top of there, I'm going to bring in my Memento, which you can use uh, stays on. I just happen to have my Memento out. And I'm going to go ahead and, now this one has the little, maybe I'll change it up a little bit. How about I use this one? Okay, this is the piano. This might be good for a Valentine's Day with the heart in it, but it is just a note card today. Just going to stamp that right in the middle. And then I'm going to add just a note. Now you see where I put the just a note there, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I'm going to add just a note right here. I'm going to bring in my red rhinestones, 
because I do like bling. And then I'm just going to take maybe one here whoop, and put it on top of the J. And then maybe I'll just add something to the little heart, maybe right there, just to give it a little color. I'm going to turn that over. Just snail that down onto my black cardstock there. I love this series of sweet and simple stamping. I love my other series with all my intricate cards, but I, I there's just something about the sweet and simple stamping that just gets me every time because it's great for new stampers or st people that have been stamping for a while. Sometimes you just want to do something quick, easy, but oh, so nice. Now this is going to be just a note of thanks. I go, I use a lot of thank you cards, so just thanks. And then I'll take the music note and just make sure it's inked up good. And maybe I'll even add a little bling in here. Right there. It just It's just calling for a rhinestone. And there you have it. Quick, easy card. Two different ways to use it. And you'll be able to see this still shots on my blog, stampersdelight.com. So thank you for tuning in to another segment of Sweet and Simple Stamping. Until next time, happy stamping, stampers. Bye.